is the garden with animals. There is a lot of green. And here is you know, the city. <laughs> to your on Tuesday. I just brought the frames. The last few nights I had very weird dreams, nightmares I would say, and I'm just, you know, tired, even from all the emotional um, baggage because of those dreams. It's, it's weird. Okay, let's unpack the, the frames. size because from the size of this box I can say that the tears large but no it's all good all perfect okay so let me demonstrate how it works um, it's so called a floating frame so yeah you place your canvas inside and there has to be this little space so it's not like very tight here it has to be this little space and then you usually just you know screw this together it has to lie down because I haven't screwed but more or less it's like this pretty isn't it <laughs> Of course I have this big box now and I wanted to show you one more thing. So yeah, here are here are the paintings and here, I know it looks awful but there is something very important happening in here. Okay, so let's talk about, oh, I'm still, still chewing a coconut. Okay, let's talk about this pile of books. It's like a spa for paper because sometimes uh, when you have good quality paper it it can get more fatigued with time when you keep it in a drawer or you know in a plastic sleeve for instance you know life happens to it as I said it has to be like good quality paper and you can dampen it or I like I did yesterday I sprayed it with water um, not a little not too much you have to be very careful with this and then 
it has to be like a sandwich with foil and then you have to put something very heavy on top of this so that like the fibers of paper plump with water and it straightens. I tried this before and the prints looked really really nice and let's see how it worked out with this one. Okay so we have a collection of books. And here I also have my smaller paintings because you know with water they wave. I use this to kind of distribute the, um, the weight evenly on the entire surface. Oh, this paper. Oh. And here is some foil, so something that keeps the water inside and here I also have plastic sleeves so it also helps keep the water you know in the paper it's still dumping and yeah it didn't quite worked out the way I wanted but it's better than it was yesterday so I thought it clean and then I just put you know some things aside so I wanted, I wanted to explain the mystery for some of you why some studios or my studio in particular is just so messy and there is like a very simple explanation because um, I'm trying to be as resourceful as possible so whenever something comes in like for instance this giant box I'm not gonna throw it out I actually stored it to later on pack my paintings, for example, or in a worst case scenario, I will just use it as a trash can for the studio, or maybe like some floor protection, wet painting, or something like this. I don't want to move too many things around because there are still pieces that are wet, and once I touch them, I smudge the paint. I would be very, very sad. Right now I'm working on a commission take piece. There is someone outside my studio doing weird things. This device. Okay, so I do commissions. And I'm lucky to work with two amazing women from Poland who are physiotherapists. Both of them have Instagram profiles with a lot of followers and they share a lot of knowledge. One of them works with women and like women health and menstrual cycle and pregnancy, like the whole, you know, female body. And the other one works with kids. So I am very honored basically to use my talents and help educate people on very important themes and right now I'm making an illustration about intimate zones on your body. It's for materials for parents to teach their, their children to know how to talk to their kids. What is intimate and you know all that. This is this is just so important because we don't have sex ed in Poland. Yeah, so I'm I'm just super happy to take part in that in the education. I painted my lips and then I ate a chocolate. I'm not sure if there's any red left. Anyway, hello, how are you? It's Wednesday and this week is very 
slow. It's like the first half of August, so obviously a lot of people are on holidays somewhere before. There's a lot of waiting for deliveries and approvals. I've decided to make the launch of my abstract series in the second half of September. Um, so that I have enough time to come up with all the stuff <laughs> you have to prepare before the launch and since it's my first time ever I you know still have to figure it all out but in the meantime I've decided to get back to this one Whoa. that I started right after painting the, the kettle and then I sort of like abandoned the sketch for for the abstract painting. So let's let's do this. <laughs> Airport, not that long ago and right now it's like a massive common space park like thank you so much for spending the last very chill week with me at the studio and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>